Hello, and let me tell you one simple trick to calm down your head tremors. The most common cause of head tremor is what we call dystonic head tremor. A dystonic head tremor is due to an abnormal circuitry in the brain causing excessive muscle tightness and contraction of the neck muscle, causing a jerky movement of the head. That movement could be a side-to-side -side jerky movement called a no tremor, or it could be a downbeating head movement called a yes tremor, but it's often mixed. Have you ever wondered why your head tremor calms down when you lay down and put your head in the pillow? The reason behind it is what we call sensory trick. The fancy name for it is just antagonist if you're French inclined. A sensory trick is basically a way to fool the brain circuits in thinking as if your head is supported in some way, shape, or form. Why exactly it works, we're not very sure. So one easy way to support your head or rest your head will be just to lay your head back down on the chair if you have a high headrest for the chair. Now, if you notice, my chair does not have any headrest. But one trick I can do to support my head in this position will be just putting my hands back behind my head and resting my he head on the hands and that will make the tremor go away. But there are other ways to support or just fool the brain as if your head is supported. So you can touch your chin, something in a, in a listening way as if you're being attentive or thoughtful, or just sometimes rubbing your face or resting your hand carefully uh, can also do the trick and make the head tremor go away. But there are other ways. Sometimes you can put something around your neck and as if the head is supported when you're not really supporting it. So something as simple as a scarf around the head, around the neck, uh, just touching the chin or jaw or back of the head is enough to play the sensory trick and make the head tremors go away. Um, so I've seen patients put neck collars on their, on their neck to support the chin. I've seen sometimes people wear heavy necklaces around the neck to do the trick. There have been some other ways, some less common and crazy ways that have been described to play the trick. I've had patients who were support, so chewing gum in their mouth was enough to cause a sensory trick for their head tremor or having a wooden stick like a toothpick in their teeth clenched can cause a sensory trick and so on and so forth. But one word of caution, sensory trick is not always present. And in some studies it's reported only 70% of people or two out of three actually have or discover a sensory trick. It may be that others have not made an effort to look for their sensory trick. And the sensory trick have known to go away, especially if the dystonia or dystonic head tremor is slowly progressive. We'll discuss more about it in our next future videos.